Maybe this has happened to you too. On your Samsung refrigerator, you go to get a glass of water and you fill it with the cup with ice, go to get the water, and nothing happens. Since I could hear the water valve solenoid humming, it means the water valve was stuck in the closed position. In this video, I'll show you the steps I took to replace the water filler assembly and fix the issue. I'll leave a link in the description below for the water filter assembly which I purchased. The first step will be to turn off the water and to disconnect the power. Next you'll remove the three screws holding the upper hinge cover. You'll want to open both doors and then to take the cover off you'll have to pry up in the four locations where you see the triangles. That's where the clips are that hold the cover in place. Once the cover is off, depress the tab on the wire connector and pull the wire connector apart. Now you'll disconnect the water hose from the coupling by removing the protective cover, depressing the locking collar, and pulling the connector from the hose. Now moving to the rear of the refrigerator, We'll remove the two straps and tape holding the hoses in place. And you'll remove the hose covers leading to the water filter assembly. You want to remember the location of the black lines on the gray and blue hoses where they enter the fridge at the top. You can do this by taking a picture or putting a piece of tape to indicate the location of the two lines. To remove the gray hose, you will have to depress the locking collar as you pull the hose out. For the blue hose, there is no locking collar and you can just pull it out. Now you're going to remove the water hose leading to the lower ice maker. You'll remove the protected cover, depress the locking collar, and pull the hose from the coupling. Now you'll disconnect the water line connecting to the fridge. When doing this, you may want to put down a towel to capture the water that leaks out of the hose. With all water hoses disconnected, you're ready to remove the filter assembly. Depress both tabs, one on each side, and then lift up on the shelf as you pull the shelf out. To detach the water filter assembly from the bottom shelf, depress this bottom tab with a screwdriver and then pull it forward. Now disconnect all three wire connectors by first depressing the tab and then pulling the connector apart. It may make it easier for you to depress the tab with the screwdriver while pulling them apart. The tab on the bottom connector was kind of hidden under the top connector, so you have to reach up under there with the screwdriver to get to it. Now with the wires disconnected, you're ready to remove the water filter housing along with the tubes. Since the new assembly does not contain the lower lighting unit, you'll have to transfer the lighting units from the old one to the new one. 
If you haven't already done so, remove the filter from the old unit. Using a screwdriver, gently pry off the front face from the assembly unit. There are three screws that you will need to remove from the assembly. With a screwdriver, gently lift each tab as you pry apart the assembly. In this step, it may uh, help to have someone else gently pry the uh, unit apart while you're lifting on the tabs. Next you'll separate the lighting wires from the rest of the wires. To separate the lighting wiring from the rest of the wires, you'll have to depress this harness tab that keeps the wires in place. There are three wiring clips that you will need to pry apart to pull the wiring out. After you release the wires, then you can depress the tabs to remove the lens for the light. Once you've removed the lens, then you can just uh, pick up the light and then push it back through. To get to the wires on the other half, you'll first have to remove three screws and then remove the valve assembly. After removing the valve assembly from the other side, you'll pop out the wiring just like you did on the first side. Now you will follow the same steps to take apart your new assembly. First you'll remove the three screws. Disconnect the tabs. Then you can start inserting the lights into the new unit. Insert the lens back over the light. You'll have to remove the screws and the valve assembly to insert the wires into the track. After getting the wires snapped into position, snap the valve assembly back into place and replace the three screws. Now you can insert the light on the other half. Insert the light lens. 
and snap the wiring into position. Once the wiring is in position on both halves, then you'll route the connector end into position along with the other connector. Now you'll snap both halves together. Replace the three screws. Insert the drip pan and attach the assembly faceplate. Now you can insert the filter. You may recall when removing the old unit from the fridge, we removed three connectors. But as we can see from this image here, the new unit only has one connector. After moving the lights to the new unit, the new unit now has two connectors. It turns out the new unit is redesigned and it functions just fine with one less connector. After transferring the lights, you're now ready to install the new assembly. You plug the new lighting connector into the top right connector, then plug the other connector into the left, and you're all set with the electrical connections. When installing the new unit, notice that there is a T-shaped post, which you'll insert into this slot on the bottom of the unit, and then slide the unit back. So when installing the assembly, position the slot over the T-post and then slide it back into position. Reach under the shelf to support it while you're pushing down and back. You should hear the tab snap into place. Now you can replace the second level shelf. If you haven't already done so, remove the cap on the line. While inserting the blue line, it came to a point that had some resistance, and to get it past that point, I had to quickly and forcefully push it past it. Try to ensure that the black line on both hoses are back to about the original position. Now you can connect the lower freezer water line by first putting the blue ring onto the hose and then firmly sliding the hose all the way into position into the coupling. Next, reconnect the water line to the refrigerator. Now you can reinstall the water hose cover. Oops, looks like I made a mistake. As you can see here, I have all four hoses in one slot of the cover. I recommend you follow this original hose arrangement. Now you can reinstall the hose brackets. Now going back to the top of the refrigerator, you can reconnect the dispenser water line to the coupling. Just slide it all the way in and replace the protective cover. Next you can connect the lighting switch connector on the cover. 
With both doors open, you'll snap the cover into place. And screw into place the three screws to hold the cover in place. With the new water valves in place, we are once again able to enjoy a glass of cold filtered water. This has been a DIY Saver production. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my content, hit the subscribe as well.